In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the extensions that I use all the time in Google Chrome. There's tons of extensions out there though, so if you've got some that you love, please drop them in the comments below this video. I love to learn about new tools, but here are some of my favorites. Let's get started. So to use Chrome extensions, you need to be in Google Chrome. So make sure you're using that as your browser. Then we go to the Chrome Web Store to find extensions. I'm just going to select this, the Chrome Web Store, and now this is where you can find all the extensions available to you on Chrome, and you just search for the one that you're looking for. One Chrome extension that I love is OneTab. You can see I've got a ton of tabs open right now, and I have that because I want to go back to all those things later, but now it's just a mess and I don't know what's what. So I'm going to use OneTab to help me out with that. I'm just going to click on Add to Chrome, and I am going to add extension. That will show up in my extension bar, and I can see that it's this new icon all the way on the right. And now I'm going to click on this extension, and all of a sudden, all those tabs that I had open are gone and have been turned into a list so I can go back to all this stuff later without it cluttering up my tab bar at the top. So for me that's super helpful. This extension is a real time saver, Google Docs Quick Create. I'm going to add this to Chrome and now I have a button I can press where I can easily go to a new document, new presentation, or any of the Google Suite that I want. It's really easy and quick. I can go to a new form, drawing, presentation, whatever I want. Obviously, there's other ways to go to new ones, but for me, this is the quickest and easiest way and saves me time every day. Draftback is also a really useful extension. So I'm gonna go to a Google Doc, and I'm reading this paper and it seems a little bit like the student didn't write some of these parts. So for this one, I'm actually not going to click on the button in the extension toolbar. I have a button right here in Docs and this is how you use this one. So I'm going to press draft back and it renders a sample and I press view. And you can see me typing this text out and then there's a flash. That's copy and paste and then it goes back to typing. So this is a very helpful extension to play back the version history that a student has um, worked on for this assignment. Another extension that I love and use all the time is tabs resize. So let's go to the little tabs resize icon and I can select what layout I like. And for different things, uh, different layouts are better. So for example, when I want my calendar up and an email open, I might pick this one. When I want to look at student work and my grade book at the same time, I might pick this one. So there's all different layouts and it immediately resizes the tab you're in and splits the screen with a new tab. This is also super helpful for Google Meets where you can have your call in one window and your presentation in the other. So in one window, you join the call as you regularly would, and in the other window, you join to present. And that's a super helpful way to do Google Meet. So I love tabs resize. I use this one all the time. And that brings me to my next extension. After you have tabs resize, you need tabs glue, or tab glue, I suppose. And all you do is you click on the icon, and now the two windows that I had open are glued together in one window. So I don't lose any of the work, I just don't need them open in separate windows anymore. So that one is also a super helpful little tip. So here's how you can use tabs resize in Google Meet. You simply join the call as you normally would on one side, and on the other side, select present. Then you're a presenter on one side and you are in the regular meeting 
on the other side and you can see your students, you can see yourself, and you can use both windows to facilitate that. So it really is helpful and makes Google Meet much easier to present in. And you can also use another extension, GridView. So GridView allows you to see your students in a grid while you're on the call or any meeting participants. So it's much easier that way. You can see everybody in a grid on your screen. So that's a super helpful extension. This is what it looks like in the Chrome Web Store. And then you just go back to your Meet and you click on the extension just like you normally would and you get your grid view. And of course, no list of extensions would be complete without Screencastify. Screencastify is a screen recorder that allows you to record your screen much like I'm doing now. It's this little icon on the top and after you've installed it, and I have another video on how to install Screencastify, how to use it, how to upload after. I've got three videos on that. So if you're interested in Screencastify, definitely check out those videos. And you've got options. You can do, uh, just do the tab that you are working in. You can do your whole desktop. You can do your webcam. You can embed the webcam down in the corner if you want people to see you. So this is a great tool. I particularly like the drawing tools in Screencastify where you can annotate your screen. So again, check out my tutorials on Screencastify if you're interested in that, but it's an awesome extension. So the other extensions that I use are mostly for fun. I like Colorzilla a lot. Colorzilla allows me to pick up colors on particular slides and copy them. I mean, not just slides, but anywhere I'm working with color. For me, I mostly work with color and slides. So let's check it out. So I'm going to grab a color from the web page. I choose my Colorzilla icon, pick color from page, and then I just put this little crosshairs over the color that I want. And I like that blue. So I'm going to select that blue. It's copied to my um, it's copied to my clipboard. So say I wanted to change the background color of this slide to that shade of blue. I would go to background, go to my color, select custom, and then I can just paste in the color that I just picked. And there you go. So that's how I use Colorzilla. I really like it a lot because I can coordinate things in my slides and keep them within this same family of colors. Um, because if you play around with the color, you can slide it around and you know get a slightly different shade and all that. So that's a lot of fun. So another way that I add fun obviously is with Bitmojis. That's another extension that I have, the Bitmoji extension. To get that one, you download the Bitmoji app on your phone, create your Bitmoji there and then download the Bitmoji extension from the Chrome store. Then you get all these fun Bitmojis that you can add to your slides or wherever you like, wherever you use them. Again, I mostly use them in slides. So the Bitmoji extension is also a lot of fun. So those are the top extensions that I use on a regular basis. You can find tons of extensions in the web store. Extensions add tons of power and ease of use to your everyday Chrome experience. For me, it helps me keep things organized. It helps me do tasks that I do on a regular basis. And when I find a good extension, it's a real game changer for my daily life. Once you've got all your extensions up on your extension bar, if you want to get rid of one, you can just right click on it and remove for Chrome or hide in the Chrome menu. You can also go to manage extensions. And this will show you the information for this extension. And you can go back and check out all your extensions here and you can remove them easily or check the details. So that's how you can manage your extensions once they are in Chrome. You can also just drag them across and move them into whatever order that you like. So have fun with your extensions. If this video is helpful for you, please tell your teacher friends all about it. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.